Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome back to the Just Two Social Studies class for week six, lesson two, presented by Adir Ogba. The topic is still attitude. So today, inshallah, we shall be looking at the types of attitude. The types of attitude are positive attitude, negative attitude, and neutral attitude. What, is, what do you mean by positive attitude? People with positive attitude see the good in people and things rather than their bad or flaws. That is, people with positive attitude, they do not focus their attention on the bad about people or the flaws of people or the mistakes of people. What they see is the good in people. They are optimistic. That is, they believe that everything is possible. They see opportunities in every situation. That is, all they see about things, about people, is the good in it. So they see opportunities in every situation and they make good use of it. They don't complain and they don't trade blame. That is, they don't say, hey, you are the one that caused it, you are the one that did this. No. What about the negative attitude people? People with negative attitudes focus on the weaknesses and the flaws of others. They don't see the good in people at all. What they see in people is bad and they emphasize it. That's what they focus on. They'll be, wa they'll be watching you, they want you to make mistakes, they are pessimistic. They don't believe in any positivity. They are always blaming others for their own failures. Then the neutral attitude. People with neutral attitude do not give enough importance to situations or events. They care less about anything. They ignore problems. They leave problems for someone else to come and solve. They don't feel the need to change. Now, the next thing we are going to look at is how attitude is formed. How do we form attitude? One, attitude is formed through direct experience. Attitude is formed through direct experience. We form attitude about certain things upon experiencing them, through tasting them, smelling them, touching them. We, 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 we develop some attitude based on the direct um, experience we have about them or with them. Probably you smell something and you don't like the smell. Maybe the smell makes you throw up. That means you have developed an attitude towards that thing. Or you see something and it's, it appeals to your senses. You love it immediately, you saw it. That's what we're talking about. So we develop attitudes towards something based on our direct experience with them. You meet somebody for the, for the first time and the person was so pleasant, so polite, and you love the person. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about when we say direct uh, attitudes through direct experience. So somebody that was nice to you, that was polite, that was gentle, that was caring, you, you may love that person. You have developed an attitude towards that person based on what? Your direct experience with that person. Are you with me? This type of uh, attitude formation is referred to as sensory reaction. It's referred to as what? Sensory reaction. It's referred to as what? Sensory reaction. That is, your senses react to what? To your direct experience with that particular thing or people. Are you there? Okay. The second way through which attitude is formed is based on our value or belief system. We form attitudes about certain things or about certain people based on what we believe in, based on what we uphold, based on our value system. Are you there? Example, our attitudes towards premarital sex, that is having sexual intercourse before marriage, towards eating pork, pork meats, Towards stealing is based on our value system. It's based on the kind of person we are, what we believe in. Are we somebody that believes that taking other people's things is normal? That is somebody's value system, what you believe in. Are you somebody that doesn't care about what you put in your mouth and you can eat anything, including pork? You don't care about what disease it can give and so on. That's your value system. So our attitudes towards some things, 
or towards some people sometimes is formed based on our what? Based on our value or belief system. Are you with me? Another way through which, okay, I have some examples here. Taking alcohol, stealing. The attitude we formed, we form on this kind of behavior, on this kind of, on, on this kind of event or activities is based on what we believe to be right or wrong or our religious beliefs. So the next way through which attitude is formed is formed because it has been reinforced or motivated by a reward or punishment. Sometimes you behave in certain ways. Are you there? Based on the reward attached or the punishment attached. Let me give you an example of such an attitude. Some of you might have decided to pay more attention to your studies because your parents promised to get you a gift if you pass very well, you know? A reward has reinforced the way you behaved. It is because of the reward that you have displayed that particular behavior, that you have behaved that way, that you have formed that particular attitude of being serious with your studies. Are you there? So some attitudes are formed based on what? Based on reward or punishment motivating or reinforcing such attitude. I hope my point is clear to you. And this kind of attitude formation is called operant or instrumental conditioning attitude. That is something conditioned it, something warranted that kind of attitude. Probably the reward or the punishment. Probably your parents have promised that if you don't pass, they will not take you for you not travel with them to, to, to travel overseas with them for your holiday. So because of that, you want to put in your best. You develop attitude, a better or positive attitude towards your studies. Attitude can also be formed about new situations or events based on their similarity with some past situation. Let me take it again. Our attitudes are formed also sometimes about new situations based on their similarity with some past situation or events. That is, you form your attitudes about some things or about some people or about some events based on their similarity with an event that has occurred before or a situation that has occurred before. Let me give you an example. For instance, a child just learning to eat who tasted a peppery stew would not want to accept stew next time, even if it is not peppery. A child that is just learning, to, just learning to eat, and you give the child a peppery stew. The stew was so peppery. Whenever the child sees uh, stew again, even if the stew is made of just tomato, so far it is stew, it will immediately develop attitudes against that particular stew. We develop a negative attitude towards that stew. I hope I'm making myself clear. Another way through which attitude is formed is through observation of other people's action. As you continue to study people, you may, you may start developing some of their attitudes. The more you study people, you just find yourself, the more you find yourself among some people, you just find yourself behaving the way they behave. Our attitude are sometimes, another one is that our attitudes are sometimes formed based on peer group influence. Sometimes we behave in certain ways to please our friends, for us to receive praise, admiration from our friends, acceptance. We want to behave certain ways for our friends to love us, for our friends to accept us as being part of them. Another way through which attitude is formed is through exposure. Through, okay, another way through attitude is formed is through which attitude is formed about people or objects is because our exposure to them coincides a negative or positive emotion. That is, the experience you have with that person coincided with a negative or positive emotion that you have. So, you, the attitude you form about that particular person was actually not based on your judgment about that person, but what? On your emotion at that particular time. For instance, you, the way you behave to people when you are hungry or when you are sad 
It's not because they have offended you, but because you are not happy or because you are hungry. I hope that point is clear to you. So those are the various ways through which attitudes are formed. So this is where we are going to stop today. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi